Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you are new. Hi, everyone, it's me, Dan. Um, and I am doing something a little bit different today. Well, I'm not. I'm doing what I always do. I'm trying something new on film because literally what is the worst that can happen? Um, I have wanted some of these thought for absolutely ages and I've just been putting off buying them, putting off buying them. And there's a little sale on Jackson, Jackson's art, so I purchased some and I thought why not let's have a little go today um and see what actually happens so I have decided to treat myself to some pan pastel um and it's like a little blue set so I mean these are not remotely new I know lots of people have them but they are new to me there is I've threw the thing away Oh, towers underneath. Ultramarine blue. Lovely. Um Fallow Blue. Nice. This is nice. I like this one. Payne's grey. Ultramarine blue tint. Which is ultramarine but light, I assume. Yeah, and I love this colour, it's beautiful, it looks quite white on camera but it's turquoise tint So I am a big turquoise fan, so I will absolutely be buying the turquoise um, Like dark one on the mid, like the mid one, I don't know what the dark one is called Um, so I've got these and then obviously it has the little soft tools in them as well which is cute and then I did also buy some a little soft steel soft tool even starter set so I just thought I'd jump on and have a little play around with them with you guys because it's always a little bit fun and I think we're just going to keep it really really basic because I d genuinely do not know what I'm doing and I'm just going to go with ultramarine blue and the ultramarine blue tint so we'll do like a bit of a dark and a light kind of combo going on until I get this gorgeous gorgeous turquoise um because I, I am I'm a big turquoise fan I am not going to lie so I think what I'm going to do just for pure ease I am, I'm just going to use one of these there's one in here so I'll open that one one of these little nibs that I assume goes on here you would think that I would have watched someone else's YouTube video first but no of course I haven't because I'm an idiot um, and it's just fun isn't it generally what is the worst that could happen and i've already done a page in here i wanted to take part in my friend sam's um hashtag on instagram i can't for the life of me remember what it is so do apologize sam i will check with sam before i post the video and i'll put it in uh, but it's to like to color like a butterfly page so i've been wanting to do this page for absolutely ages i just wanted a really quick um color the other day i was just watching tv i was a little bit bored um and i've just realized I haven't actually activated the little antenna thing. So I did this all in um, Al Albert Dura Faber-Castell watercolours. Um, I've not got a full set, but got quite a few. I've possibly 70 odd, I think. Um, I think I've got the 60 set on offer and then I have bought 10. Um, since, so I just wanted to have a bit of a play around. I've literally just used four colours um, and some gold Calero for a bit of bling and I just I just had fun. I was watching Vampire Diaries, I was just blending the pencils together. I probably could add a bit of pencil and, and darken up but I, not the point. The whole point of the page was just to have a little bit of fun. So let's just get stuck in and see what actually this is all about. Now I'm fully aware that I'm going to have to put something over this page because I haven't got any um, fixative so I'll we'll probably just use a piece of tracing paper for now. Um, and I'm, I'm just I'm going to just do it. I'm just going to get... Oh. Oh. It's very blue. So 
So I don't know what I'm, what, I really don't know what I'm doing. But it looks nice. Oh. I thought we'll just put a bit of the blue. They're messy, aren't they? These might not be for me. I'm um, very messy anyway. Like, literally, you want to see my desk. It's horrendous right now. Um, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, oh, oh, God. Maybe I've put too much on. Um, but yes, yeah, so I've wanted some of these for absolutely ages and I thought let's just get some and see. Oh, it's, it's absolutely going everywhere, right? Um, I thought let's just have a go. I'd rather do it with you lot. Like, it's more fun than sat here on my own going, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, fingerprints. I did see somebody's video actually say that. They do short fingerprints. I mean, I'm not really bothered. Um, if you can hear random galloping, um, Ollie's chasing a fly. That funny has been for the past hour. But basically, my idea was that I was just going to put this blue on and then maybe use the lighter blue. I feel like I was absolutely definitely putting far too much on to start off with because I'm just literally like tapping it on now. Um, but yeah, so I could have done this off screen and just shown you in my completed pages video, but what, where is the fun in that? And also, like, some we just put so much pressure on ourselves for everything to be perfect and well that's not actually the point the point is to sit down have some fun also if I feel a bit if I sound a bit rough today I'm absolutely fine but if you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen that I was out on Thursday and I got very drunk um, and was literally out all night and had no hangover yesterday <laughs> until this morning when I woke up and I was like, oh, <laughs> wow. The hangover came to play today instead of yesterday, which is just rude because I thought I'd escaped it. Um, so if I do sound a bit rough, I have fully recovered from COVID. I genuinely just sound a bit rough. Um, but yeah, so we put far too much pressure on ourselves, I think, to make things perfect and I said just do it um I'm gonna swap this little tool thing round because I don't want to use another one but nice nice color mm, you can't even see that I'm still going to put it on. I can kind of see it. But I feel like it's... Like, compared to that blue. Like, the actual blue bit. Can you layer them? I mean, that's quite nice, actually. Right, I've got an idea. Let me do what I was doing first. So I'm, I literally, this is just a play around. I just wanted to see one what they're like. Because I don't actually have any pastels. Like I've never actually bought pastels to do backgrounds because I do prefer ink. I feel like it's less messy. Um, 
I do feel like it's less messy with an ink. I mean, this is cute. I'm not, I'm not hating them. Um, I just, I can see it's not going to be like, if I'm completely honest, I've not got a need to go and buy every single colour of them. I, d I don't really, I, they're not, I don't think they're for me. Um, I might have just not got like the best colours, but I'll probably watch some videos and see what other people do with them. Because I do believe that you can rub them out, which is quite interesting. But just let me just have a little bit of a layer. So if I, because that's quite nice when I put that, when I put the light over it and it smooths out a little bit. And then what about if I go back and put the dark over the top again, maybe? I mean, it's nice and smooth, but like I'd prefer a punchier background, to be honest, which is why I do like the inks because they're like, poof, pack a punch. But I mean, this looks nice. Um, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, we just put too much pressure on ourselves for everything to be perfect and people are too scared to just, I think you can get too scared to do it, like, oh, I'm not going to try that, or I'm not going to do that on camera because what if it doesn't go right, so what if it doesn't go right? I like seeing, like, I don't like seeing things going wrong, that's not what I mean, what I mean is I like to see people being real and like having a go with something and not working isn't like a bad thing at all I'm not I'm not an artist I'm not I'm just having fun I'm just enjoying my hobby seeing what happens so that's why I thought we'll do this on screen because genuinely what is the worst that can happen um and currently it is just Making a dusty mess. <laughs> Lol. Um, oh, oh. I mean, it's very smooth, let's be honest. Not bad at it. Oh, I've definitely just put that on the page underneath. Not for that. I'm not mad at it. I'm not particularly in love with it I, I think I prefer an ink um somebody did say that you can rub them out though oh I've just made a mess of that <sighs> oh yeah you actually can not gonna bother um yeah i mean for the background's done that was all i wanted to do i just wanted to have a, a play around with him and obviously this is going to go absolutely everywhere now does it actually come off yeah um i like them i think i just want to maybe add i feel like it add it need to add a bit of this this is what i need to add oh it's making a mess oh Just thought, they smell a bit funny. Oh God. I do like a, a darker border on my background, if I'm being honest. It's 
it's quite nice. It's soft, isn't it? Like, it's like a nice soft background, which I suppose that is what you get with a pastel. I just prefer more of like a, a bold, distressed look. Props will use them. Well, I mean, the, I will use them because they're here. Um, but they're not, it's not gonna like change my life, I don't think. I'm not gonna go on a mad spend and buy them all. Absolutely not. Um, but it's quite nice. It's a different look, isn't it? It's something new to try. Maybe on like a, a bigger background. But it's, I don't know. I don't think they're for me, guys. But I'll try. I'll keep trying. See what I can do with them. As I say, I might get that turquoise because I do love turquoise. Um, and maybe, obviously, if I use some different... Um, <coughs> excuse me. If I use some different colours, maybe the, the, con the contrast will be a bit darker. I'm just going to add some um, ink because why not? Let me just do this because I don't really want to get it onto the butterfly. So this is just a piece of kitchen roll that I have been using to soak up some distressed ink. I'm just going to cover the actual butterfly up. Grab um, a paintbrush that's got some acrylic paint on it so it's actually stiff. Mm, hang on a minute. That wasn't a good idea, but we just go with it. It's a bit better. Um, I'm trying not to get it on the opposite page because I do want to colour that page. But carefully lift that off. I'm going to just leave it as that. It was a bit of an experiment. I just wanted to do it with you guys. Um, just to see. I like them. They're nice. Am I probably going to buy more? Probably not. I think they're far too expensive um, and, a me and messy. I have made a mess. Um, but it's quite a nice... No, it's, it's just a mess. <laughs> not even going to lie about it. It is. I've just made a mess. But that is my first go of pan pastels. Um, yeah. The background's done. It was very quick. I probably need some more colours, I think. But for now, that'll do. I hope you kind of enjoyed it. It was a bit random. I didn't really think it through. Um, but yeah, so there we go. If you watched, if you are still here and you enjoyed that absolute mess, then please give us a thumbs up and I will continue to make messes live on camera um, with new art supplies whenever I get the opportunity because... I know that people do quite enjoy it. Um, but thanks for watching, guys. That was just a bit of a, a fun video. I hope it was you found it fun. Um, and I'll probably see you all in my completed pages video because I'm going to be filming it very, very soon. I don't think I'm going to get any more done. It is the last day of the month tomorrow. And then I want to get it up like early because I'm always really late. But I will see you all very, very soon. Thanks for watching. All I'm going to say is adios and have a fabulous weekend. Bye, guys.